In this video, we are going to discuss force current analogy to convert mechanical translation system into electrical system. In the last class, we observed that force voltage analogy to convert any mechanical translational system into electrical system. So, in this class, we are going to use force current analogy to convert mechanical translational system into an electrical system. So, you can see the conversion steps that means conversion points. So, here in mechanical system the input outputs are force and voltage. For mechanical system the input is force output will consider in terms of voltage. So, coming to electrical system the input is current source. If you are doing force current analogy then input is current source. Previously we done force voltage analogy their input is voltage source and output is current across the element. But as we are in force current analogy, so our input is a current source and output is voltage across that element. So here we are having three elements in mechanical trans translational system. How we will analyze the three elements in mechanical system into electrical means so, you are having mass and you are having a dashpot and if you are having a spring, the related electrical elements will be like this. That means, if you are having mass in mechanical translational system, the force opposing force from that mass element is equivalent to or proportional to acceleration. That means, double differentiation of displacement. Here displacement we are considering like x. So, force on this mass is equivalent to m into d square x by dt square. If you want to write in terms of voltage that will be is equivalent to m into dv by dt. So, m in mass element in mechanical system can be analyzed as capacitance. In both analogy both in force current analogy, force voltage analogy, dashpot is always analog analogous to resistance. But these two are interchanged. In force voltage analogy, mass is considered as inductance and spring is considered as capacitance. So, here you can see these two are interchanged. So, that means in force current analogy, if you want to convert your mechanical translational system into electrical by using force current analogy then you need to analyze this mass as capacitance and here the vo voltage across this capacitance is c into dv by dt. So, here the current across this capacitance is equivalent to c into dv by dt. So, i is equivalent to c into dv by dt. So, we can we, we can write the equation in terms of voltage across the element. In terms of v, we will write current equations in terms of voltage. So, here i is equivalent to c into dv by dt. You know current equations. Previously in force voltage analogy, we used to write all voltage equations. V is equivalent to or E is equivalent to current source E is equivalent to. So, now coming to dashpot. So, force on dashpot you know that that is proportional to voltage that means B into dx by dt where dx by dt is the differentiation of displacement nothing but voltage. So, we can write it as BV. So, this is analyzed as resistance in electrical system. So, you know what is the current through resistance I is equivalent to V by R and coming to a spring if you are having a spring in mechanical system that can be considered as inductance in electrical system. So, you know the inductance you know the current through inductance in terms of voltage as 1 by L integral V dt. So, here the force on this spring is equivalent to kx where x is the displacement. If you want your force equation in terms of voltage, you can take this x as integral of voltage. That means 
if differentiation of displacement is equivalent to voltage what is the displacement means integral of voltage so k you can write it as k into integral of v dt so finally by this table you need to know one thing always in force current analogy to convert mechanical into electrical system force is input current source and mass element is capacitor this dashpot is always resistor and spring is inductance now coming to the steps related to this conversion so the first step is in mechanical system the elements in parallel will show a same force in mechanical system the elements in parallel will have same force for example in mechanical system if you are having two or three elements in parallel that all elements will show a same force will get the same force and here similar to that similarly in electrical system parallel elements will have same voltage so that is general matter so in any electrical network parallel elements will have same voltage similar to that in mechanical system parallel elements will get the same force so here each node in mechanical system corresponds to node in electrical system it, this is this is force current analogy in force voltage analogy every node or mass element will be treated as a closed path or mesh but in force current analogy each node each node is nothing but is it's a junction point of different elements it's a meeting point of different elements generally in mechanical systems the meeting point is nothing but mass element so each node or mass or meeting point in the mechanical system corresponds to a node in electrical system node in mechanical will be treated as node in electrical whereas in force voltage analogy we consider like mesh but in force current node can be considered as node so now number of nodes in electrical system is equivalent to number of nodes in mechanical system so that means number of mass elements in the mechanical system will give you the information about the number of nodes in the electrical system so coming to the last important point the element connected between two nodes the element or elements the elements the elements connected between two nodes in mechanical system is represented as common elements between the nodes of electrical system whatever the elements we are having in between the nodes in mechanical system the same elements or analogous elements in electrical system we need to consider as common elements in between the nodes of electrical also so by taking reference of these table this table and these points i want to convert my, one of my mechanical system into electrical system by using force current analogy so here for example i am having a mass element m1 like this for this a spring is attached with elasticity coefficient k1 and a dashpot is also attached with this with a friction coefficient b1 and here i am having another mass element m2 so for this also one spring is attached with elasticity coefficient k2 and another is with b2 so same example i considered for force voltage analogy also you can see the difference of circuits there so here i am having like this and i am having a friction friction from surface for one of the mass you may have friction for two masses but i am considering for one mass the same mechanical circuit which i considered for previous force voltage analogy i considered here to to give you the difference of electrical circuits so now <coughs> here the force is f and here my displacement is x1 
or voltage you can take V1. Here my displacement is X2 or voltage if you want to take in terms of voltage that is V2. So, this is the mechanical system I am having here. So, according to this system, according to the force current analogy, I need to convert this mechanical system into electrical system. First, what I told you means here nodes are important. Previously, meshes are important. Here, nodes are important. So, okay. How many nodes we are having in the electri electrical system? How many nodes we will have in the analogous electrical system to this mechanical? How many number of nodes in electrical system is there that can be described by the mass elements? The number of nodes in mechanical system, number of nodes or mass elements in the mechanical system will describe the nodes in electrical. So, here we are having two masses. So, we may have two nodes in electrical system. So, that two nodes I am considering like V1 and V2. Each node is having some voltage that voltage I am considering with V1 and V2 and now we need to consider each element. So, here you are having force. So, force in mechanical is equal to current source. So, I am taking a current source, I am taking a current source connected to this node. I am having a current source connected to this node. Node means M1 and M1 itself it is the meaning of capacitance. So, for the same node a capacitance C1 is also attached. For the same node C1 is also attached and here for the same node another friction coefficient is there. This is only this B is only related to this mass. So, when you some friction coefficient you need to take the resistance. So, for the same node you are having resistance R is connected to the same node M1. And coming to here you are having two elements here, but these two are the common elements in between mass M1 and M2. So, that, that means those two elements are in between nodes of two mass elements or between the nodes. So, in electrical also we need to consider that elements as common elements. So, here you are having you are having spring here for spring you need to consider inductor. So, for spring you need to consider inductor and for dashboard you need to consider resistance. So, I considered as common elements. So, here parallel elements are there, here also we need to consider parallel in force current analogy. So, now <coughs> this is this is K1 related. So, that is why I am taking L1 and R1. Now, M2 came. So, M2 is itself represented with a capacitance. So, I can take a capacitance. So, that capacitance I will model it as C2 because that is related to M2. And after that, we are having two elements only related to this M2. These elements are not in between two nodes. These elements are related to only this node M2. So, that means only related to V2. So, which is that nodes means this spring, spring means again you need to consider an inductance. So, this is L2 and here you are having a dash pot. So, you need to consider resistance, resistance. So, I am naming it as R2 because of V2. So, this is the electrical network related to this mechanical system according to force current analogy. Whereas, in force voltage analogy we will we'll take in series, in force current analogy we will take in parallel. So, you can see all the elements are in parallel will have same voltage, these two are having parallel, so parallel voltage. 
these two are having in parallel so these two will have parallel voltage these three are in parallel so these three will have same voltage so this is the force current analogy to convert any mechanical translational system into electrical system.